Howdy. Hey, Brent, guess what? What? What are we going to do today? We're going to eat these nuts. I was, I was saying that we were po going to poach Irene. Hey! We're poaching Irene. Hey! All right, so we're poaching Irene. All right, so we were playing. Hey! Shut up. We're poaching Irene. Shut up. So we were playing video games earlier. I made that song up. Irene's an elephant. And Brent was talking about an elephant named Irene. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden he started singing, We're Poaching Irene. And that was all that we wrote. And that's our intro. Hey, no. everybody! Welcome to the You're So Dumb podcast. A podcast where Brent and I... Eat these nuts. Where we talk about life-threatening questions that really aren't so life-threatening. Careful. There's a table there. I'm sorry. So today we are going to be talking... Bless you. Bless you, Max. Today we are going to be talking He's about a dog. Game. No, that's actually a Lance over there. Lance! Shut up. Bless you. <laughs> actually, oh, Lance. Today we're going to be talking about game shows. Yeah, we are. Alright. Now, I think right now one of the most popular game shows. No, it's not you think. It's, it's a fact. Really? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Family Feud. With Steve Harvey. With Steve Harvey. Host Steve Harvey is one of the most popular game shows at this moment. I think he's one of the... I don't want to say it's the most popular... I that might not be. I think it is. All of my attention is devoted to opening this peanut. <laughs> I'm not even looking at the camera. I'm just either. not. I'll look at you. I got a haircut. I I'm great, I know. I didn't. So, what do you want to talk about? What about it? Do, I don't know. What are your opinions on Steve Harvey? Steve Harvey's a great guy. I Family Feud is not a great show. I Steve Harvey him. makes the show. Mm hmm. I love the Family Feud. Steve Harvey improves it. Really? Yeah. Like I think it would be. N it wasn't a great game show until he got on there. Then people because he was, I believe he was a comedian at one point actually. Mm -hmm. And then when people heard he was going to do it, some people checked him out, and just his personality and the way he lives just kind of makes it better. You do realize that the Family Feud has been on television for decades. No, oh no, I know. Okay, good. But because Steve Harvey was on there, more people went, "Hey, let's check it out." Like it had a resurgence. Yeah. Like I think this is the Family Feud Renaissance. Yeah. Like at first it was popular with like people like Richard Dawson and Gene Simmons, or I don't know who hosted the Family Gene Feud. Gene Simmons. I know. I know Richard Dawson hosts the Feud. I know. Um, Mr. Pip. From Seinfeld host the feud. I don't know what his name is. I know um, Tim Allen's friend from Home of Oh, yeah, he did. Host the Family Feud. They were okay. I definitely think Steve Harvey is the best Family Feud host. Mm hmm. I dropped my nuts. Can we talk about this real quick? Why'd you get nuts? Why'd, like, you, why'd you get a thing that we would never look at the camera and eat? Because I like peanuts. Well, I wouldn't disagree, but usually we have eat, like Skittles. Do you want to eat Twizzlers instead? I just don't like those Twizzlers. You eat They're the nuts. cherry kind. They're like pull and peel Twizzlers. Pretty much. So. Right, how about you eat nuts, I'll eat Twizzlers. I love nuts. They're good. <clears throat> can, can this be the game show and infomercial episode? Yeah. Because I freaking love infomercials. They're pretty great. I love them more than any other commercial. Like, have you seen the infomercial for the Slap Chat? With Vince Offer. He was the guy who did the ShamWow. Oh. Like, he is so enthusiastic about the Slap Chop. He was like, hi, it's Vince with the Slap Chop. You're going you're gonna to slap your pounds away because you're not going to go out and you're not going to buy stuff you don't need. And, like, all, all the Slap Chop is, you take it off and you open it like a butterfly. And it just cleans like that. You throw it right in the dishwasher. You're going to throw all your kitchen utensils away. And then there's this one part where he's talking about uh, ice cream toppings. No, he doesn't even talk about ice cream toppings. Like, he finishes talking about breakfast food. Like, I can slap chop your... What is it? Oh, what it is, is... What it is doesn't it's, matter. It's a product where you, like, take your food, you put it, like, a little pile on the table, you put the slap chop over it, you tap it, one, two, three, like, there are little knives inside of it, like a blade, uh, or go down. Like an onion dicer? Yeah, kind of. And so, like, he talks about, oh, you can slap in some cilantro, some ham, some... Hard boiled egg to get some, to get like a nice breakfast on the go, and then he immediately is staring right at the camera. He's like, "You're gonna love my nuts," <laughs> and he has like a thing of peanuts out. He's like, "Yeah, you're gonna slap away the you're gonna slap away the pennies I with your ice." I kind of want to see it with your ice cream topping. I'll show you after the 
I'll show you after this part. <clears throat> Parts uno, but he's just so enthusiastic about the slap chop. Oh what about God. Billy Mays? Billy Mays, I love Billy Mays. Billy Mays was. My I don't think anyone liked Billy Mays until he died, no, and no, then no, no, appreciated no. how Billy Mays was. No, I've always loved Billy Mays. But I think something about him dying and this new guy coming out kind of made us go, man. Anthony Sullivan. Yeah, they were still friends. Hi, they, Anthony. They were, they were friends. They had a TV show. Really? Yeah, it was called Pitchman. They were just going out. They were learning about the product. They were filming the infomercial. It was like a behind the scenes for infomercials. Mm. It lasted like six episodes before Billy Mays died. Hi, Billy Mays here. Right. That's a great name. Yeah. I love how loud he was. It's like, Hi, Hi Billy, Billy Mays. Mays here for the okay. Big City Slider Station. You take your teeny tiny little burgers, you smush them, and you stack them in your sliders. Why'd he get Southern? What if he was Southern? He wouldn't know. So, a million dollars. Are we just gonna start talking about game shows and infomercial? Yeah, game show and infomercial I, it episode? sounded it sounded like a good idea, and then we started talking about it, and I just immediately had nothing to say about Can it. We talk about the Price is Right. I never see it, you never but see I know it. what it is. How do you feel about the Price is Right? I feel it's the same as Family Have you dude. seen Have you seen episodes? Okay, I feel like the Price is Right is just terrible. Really? Like I love watching it. I feel like it's very entertaining to watch, but I feel like the whole thing. About you get to spin and win. Like you get to spin your if the price big is wheel. Right. No, 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 not even that. You get to spin the wheel and it's 100% luck whether right. you make it to the showcase showdown. Like I feel like game shows should not be luck. That's, that's why I yeah. really don't like Deal or No Deal. I think Deal or, yeah. no, I think Deal or no Deal is a lazy game show. I'm going to say that right now. It's lazy. I don't. It actually does take. It's a luck and skill game because. It's, it's not really a skill game at all. Well, almost. How is it a skill game? Because you have to judge whether the deal you are offered is worth opening another box and possibly ruining it. So it's like, I wouldn't call it skill, but more like lucky skill. Like you so can luck. No, because it's not just like pure luck. Oh, no, you know, whatever, next. Like, you just kind of have to, you have to know what you're doing. But you still don't know exactly what's going to happen. It's like luck and risk. Yeah. That's, that's all the deal no deal is. Now, with a quality game show, like, let's say, Password. Have you seen Password? Nope. What Password is, is there's, like, a word. Like, let's say the Password is Couch. Like, two teams of two would go behind, and they would have, to, they would have one word, like, one word that doesn't rhyme, and they would have to try and get the person to guess the word. Like, so like a, sit? Yeah, like seated. Um, long. Cushion. And they would have to guess couch. Right. That's a skill game. Right. The Family <laughs> Feud, I think, is a skill game. Price is Right, most, like, mostly a skill game. The price. <coughs> I should be eating peanuts. The price, of, the price is Right is a skill game? To some degree. Like, the, the, the pricing games, those are skill Right, games. yeah. Showcase Those are more showdown. knowledge based, though, aren't they? Like, if you're because if you knew nothing about pricing, like and if you, you went, that's came probably from a... Avstrovska. That's not a country. That's not a real country. How about like Mexico? If you came from Czechoslovakia yeah. and you were on the prices right, you wouldn't know a darn thing because you know how currency works. I, I guess you would be able to tell which is worth more. Right, you'd be kind of be a, you'd be able to go. That's worth a little bit more than this object, but mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to go. That's that's roughly five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Like you'd be like, um, couple, mm -hmm. maybe a few. There's this one episode of How I Met Your Mother, where Barney Stinson, Neil Patrick Harris, thinks that Bob Barker, host of The Price Is Right, is his dad, and so he like trains for like weeks to get on The Price Is Right, and he gets on, and he guesses it perfect. And so he gets to the pricing game, and it's this game called the clock game. We have two objects, and you have to guess the exact price with Bob saying either higher or lower, and you have to use that to judge. Uh -huh. And so he gets the first object right off the bat, 100%. And so he has 29 seconds to get the next object. And so he leans into the microphone and says, one billion dollars. And Bob's like, lower, it's lower than that. And so he just pulls out like a photo album to show his what he thinks is his dad 
of like all his monumental achievements, and like the, just the clock is ticking down, <laughs> and so he's got like the last second. He's like, Barney, you have one second left, five hundred seventy nine dollars, and he gets it right. <laughs> it's wow. so good. And he's like, and he's at the showcase showdown. You know what that is? No. Okay, so the showcase showdown. It's like the last thing. But it's like a trip, a car, and like a motorbike. And you have to guess the total price of all of them. Together? Yes. And you have to get as close as you can without going over. And if you're closer than your opponent, then you win. And so, Barney, he gets up there, and he sees all the things. And he's trying to guess. And usually the audience is trying to shout like, 7,043! Or something like that. Right. And the audience is like really into it. And Barney's like, no, 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 please! Allow me. And he sits there in silence for like 30 seconds. Two, eight, seven, four, three. And he gets it spot on. I mean, it's all staged, but it's just so entertaining to watch. Right. I love, I love game shows. Game shows are probably my favorite series. How do you feel about Wheel of Fortune? Wheel of Fortune, I like. I think Wheel of Fortune is fun to play along with. Mm-hmm. Like, one time, I think... I think mainly Wheel of Fortune is just either you see it or you don't. Right. It's a lot of luck, but it's mostly you see it or you don't. Right. How about... Uh, what's um, Jeopardy? Jeopardy. I love Jeopardy. Really? I don't. I, I, I like Jeopardy because it's 100% knowledge. Yep. Like, you need to know what Jeopardy is. Like, you need to know what the answers to the question are. And you need to know how to play Jeopardy. That's what I don't like about Jeopardy. It doesn't... It's not easy to figure out what's happening. Plus, the way they answer really confuses a lot of people. What is... Like, the answer with the question? Yeah. Well, that's because the questions are answers. It was like, this is the fourth president of the United States. It was like, what is George Ma- George Madison? Or James right. Madison? George Washington. Or where, whereas, if the question were, what is James Madison? The answer would be the fourth president of the United mm-hmm. States. But, it's just like... You have no time to play along unless you know because it's like, yeah. what is the front card in that? James Mass. Like, they're just like so quick. Yeah. Well, that's that's how you go to Jeopardy. You gotta go home real quick. I know, but there's no at home playing. Have you ever heard of the TV show Sh- Cheers? Cheers? Cheers. Kind of. It's a TV show that ba- that's based mainly in a bar. And there's this, <laughs> and there's this one guy. I think it's Norm. There's this one dumb guy, Norm, who's always in there. I feel like Norm is a dumb guy name. Yeah. Whenever he walks into the bar, everyone's like, Norm! Like, they all know his name. Because it's the bar where everybody knows your name. That's so in the title. Oh. And so there's this episode where Norm is on Jeopardy. And he gets 100% of the questions right. He gets as much money as you could possibly get. Like, he's walking into the final Jeopardy with, like, $100,000. And so the last question is, like, famous names. And it shows three people, and you have to say how they're related. And so, and so you get to like Thomas write, Jefferson. Yeah, no, it was like three people. It was like Thomas Jefferson, George Washington Carver, Bill Clinton. I don't remember what that answer was. Right. But he wrote down, he bet everything, and wrote down who are three men who have never been in my kitchen. Which he was right, but they wouldn't give him the answer. So we lost out on $100,000. Why do you do that? Because he thought he was right. He was technically right. None of those men have been in his kitchen. (laughs) (laughs) Why wouldn't that count? (laughs) Because it's not the answer they were looking for. What were they looking for? Never been in my bathroom? (laughs) I don't I don't remember. I think that should have counted. <laughs> I'll, I'll see if I can find that. I know what my Polish family would do. But he know. got, like, so mad at Alex Trebek. I was like, what are you talking about? Are you thinking about in my kitchen? I'm not going to have those three guys in my kitchen. What are you thinking? We're going to stop this part here. We're gonna okay. Go we're going to go on to the next part. We're going to talk about... We're actually we're going to play a game. We're going to play a game ourselves. Yeah. Okay. We're going to play a game... It's called a million dollars. We're gonna play a million dollars. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna call, play a million dollars butt. We have to draw the most expensive, best looking butt we can draw. Now, See ya. 